How's it everybody? Money Shot here again and welcome back to Hawaii Crab Shooters. It's been a while since I've put out a strategy, but I know you guys are gonna like this one. This one's perfect for bubble crabs, perfect if you get stuck on a $25 table, and perfect to build your bankroll when you're playing on randoms. It's called the Lazy 10-4. Check it out. Okay, so let's get to the Lazy 10-4. So how I came up with this strategy was in my last trip in March uh, to Las Vegas, uh, experimented a lot on the random rollers and wanted to uh, minimize my exposure and still have protection but still make some money that can build my bankroll. This uh, strategy involves a don't pass. That's why it's great for bubble craps because if you're a don't pass player, you're gonna have to have a lot of patience because you're only getting paid once. Uh, and if there's a long roll, it's gonna take a while. So um, that's why with bubble craps, you can just keep on pressing the button. That's, I, I actually like bubble craps now um, compared to before because of, you can use this kind type of strategy on the don't pass. So basically it's a simple strategy it's the don't pass for $50 and um, a four and 10 lay. So we're gonna lay the four and 10. So that's why we call it the lay Z 10 four, right? The lazy 10 four. Um, what's gonna happen is uh, th these lays are gonna protect this $50 don't pass. I wanna put it right here so you guys can see. Okay, $50 don't pass. We have $50 in the lay. Do I have a lay button? Here's the lay buttons. So you can see that they're lays. So on the come out, let me get some dice. What's gonna hurt us, we're gonna lose this. Um, let's look at our scenarios. On the two, we're gonna win 50. Three, we're gonna win 50. Um, four, we're gonna lose 50. Um, the five, nothing happens. We're gonna go to the point six, eight, nine. Um, on, on the 10, we're gonna lose the 50 here. The 11, we lose 50 here. And then 12, it's, we don't lose anything. So what happens when the seven comes, when the seven comes, these, this loses. And these two win a quarter, uh, quarter each, right? Minus the VIG. So we would lose just $2 here on the seven. What's gonna happen when the four or 10 gets hit? Remember, we're gonna lose. What we're gonna do is, let's say the four is rolled. We're gonna lose this 50. We still have this 50. This 50 is now gonna go on to the odds here because if the seven wins, we're gonna get 75. And this will go back here and we win a quarter, right? But instead of winning that quarter, I don't like just waiting. This is part of my 24 seven strategy because if you hit the four and 10, that's one of the best numbers to, to lay against the seven. Um, to win on the seven. So that's why these two opportunities, I'm okay, um, the chance, the, the probable chances are in my favor. Um, but with this quarter that I'm gonna win, I'm gonna place it on the opposite of the four and 10. So it will be quarter on the 10. If the four hits, let's say we set up here and then the 10 hits here, we lose this here. This four is gonna go to the odds. We're gonna drop a quarter from our rack and then place the four. So our opportunity, we have opportunities to win 50 bucks while we wait for the seven. If the seven comes, we get 50 for the flat bet. We get quarter for here. We lose this here, right? But we get our quarter back here. These two go right back here. Look how simple it is. You got it? That's the, tri that's the triangle right there. That's the lazy 410. 
if a regular point is made now, now what happens? If it's a five or six or eight or nine, five is the point, what happens is we're gonna slide this, lazy slide up, we're gonna rack this 50 in our rack, and we're gonna play the four and 10, and we're gonna be hoping to hit the fours and 10, and if a seven comes, we're gonna get paid that, we just replenish that, we go back, this was in our rack, we set up again, and we do it all over again. That's the lazy 10-4, all in its entirety. And that's all you do. On random rollers, bubble craps, this'll work. So let's try and give it a, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and see how it works on 10 shooters. Um, we can, we're gonna do a $500 bankroll because we're gonna be at the quarter level. Like I said, this is minimum risk because you're gonna be losing maybe $50 a shooter. That's not too bad. That's why you need five, you need 500 here, okay? 500 buy-in, low roller buy-in. And I put my bank roll here, 500. Oh, is this more than 500? Four, five, no. Yeah, this rack is just smaller. Yeah, smaller rack. That's 500 though, okay. Uh, let's set up my bank roll here to pay out. Here are my 10 shooters. These are 10 shooters here. Okay, so we got to set up. We got $50 on our don't pass. I'm gonna put it out like this. $50 lay, put my lay button there. On the 10, lazy 10-4, and lay on the four, and we're gonna go. We're on shooter number one, random roller, random shooter, I'm gonna random roll it into the wall, and that's a five, three, two, five, no field five. What happens is, puck travels to the five here, uh, lay buttons come down. Now these two, we're gonna slide the up, up to place the 10-4, and we're gonna put this back in our rack and we're gonna wait. So all we wanna do now, just hit the 10 fours. But if a seven comes, we're still protected, okay? And that's a seven, four, three, seven, PSO. So what happens here? Puck comes off, we lose this, we get paid here. You see that 50 put back in the rack? We just reset again. Tell the dealer to lay our four and 10, our, our don't pass it there, and we're on shooter number two. See how simple? Simple, all right, dice out. That's a yo 11, that's a bad number for us because we're gonna lose this 50 here, no problem. The, the twos and threes should balance out this loss of the 11, so we'll see, we're hoping. Dice out, that's a three, see what I just said? Three. Three pays 50. That was a balance right into our rack here. You can't even see our rack, huh? Hmm. Should I put my bank? I'll put my bank roll in the field um, because I'm not playing the field. All right. Dice out. That's a 10. Okay, this is what happens when the 10 happens. When the 10 hits, we're going to put the puck on the 10. We're gonna lose this 10. We're gonna tell the dealer to bring down my four, put it on odds here. We're gonna take a quarter, we're gonna place it on the four. We could wait for that and win a quarter, but I don't wanna wait for one hit. I'd rather have more opportunity. This four, the quarter here is, is actually working for me more than in there. Like, like they say, you know, your money in their bank is doing nothing. You need to invest it. So I'm investing it in the four because I can get multiple wins on the four, hopefully. That's an eight, six to eight. This is where we'd be patient. Hard eight. That's a three eights in a row, easy eight. That's a four rolls in a row, eight. 
four eights in a row, I should say. Five, two, three, five. We want to get a four so we can get paid. That's a hard six. This is a sharp shooter. Three craps, almost a four. That's a four. We got a four, easy four. We're gonna get paid 50 for one, but we don't have one, so we're gonna go 24 here. Uh, 49 actually. We win 49, we're gonna wrap this. We're just gonna collect this. We're gonna still go. We want more fours. That's a six, four, two, six. So that's why the bubble craps, you can just keep on hitting the button. Six, three, nine, that rolled. Six, two, eight, hot roller, man, double digits. Hard eight, <laughs> just killing the eight. Aces. Five, no field five. And there is the seven. So what happens in the seven? <coughs> We're gonna get paid 50 for our flat here, quarter for our odds, and we lose this. So remember our quarter that we put out there? We replenish that. We put these back here, our lees. Puck comes off, that's shooter number three. We actually won $49 off of this shooter. You know, sometimes even when people like have a mid uh, in, playing the inside, it takes them a while to win 50 bucks. We want 50 bucks just being patient. Well, this, the inside could have won because they had a lot of eights, right? So if they pressed really aggressively, they would have won. That, they would have won more. Four, two, six, actually. Mark for the six. I'm going to bring down our lays. We're going to tell the dealer slide up a quarter to the four and ten. Rack this up again. I'm gonna play it. Hope for the four and tens. Oh, we got a PSO. Shooter number one PSO, kind of double digit shooter on the second, and we got a PSO on the third. But what happens here? We get paid here. This simply moves back here. Lazy 10 4. We're laying the 10 4. We're lazy. We're not doing nothing. Letting the 10 4 work for us. Reset, look how easy it is. Shooter number four, seven. Uh, no, okay, no problem. What happens is we lose this, but we're gonna get paid a quarter here for a dollar and a quarter here for a dollar. Here's our 50, put it in the don't pass again. Nothing happens again, check that out. We just lost $2. Uh, and that was the come out roll. And that's another seven. So again, we're gonna lose this here, but we're gonna get paid 50. I'm just going through the motions. Fifth, uh, quarter for one, quarter for one, $2 big. And we'll get rack this back, but that's gonna go and don't pass. So you kind of get the seven dice out. That's a yo 11. That's who we don't want because there's no protection on that one. So we lost that guy. No problem. Two sevens and an 11 for shooter number four. That's a five. No field five. Mark the five. Bring down the lay buttons. Tell the deer slide it. Lazy slide to the 10 and four. Rack the 50. And just hope for the 10 and four to give us some money. That's a hard four, hard four, 50 for one. We got a nickel here. We're gonna get four change. We rack up the 50. Made $50, look how fast. So that's why it's a bankroll builder while you wait for your, your roll. That's a nine, five, four, nine. Center field nine. And that's a seven out, no problem. Seven came. This goes comes down here. We get paid there. This goes back on the four. Mem we remember this other 50, we put it back. Goes right back there. We made 50 bucks off this shooter. Not bad. PSO, nothing happened. We lost uh, $2. This guy, we, we kind of made, we made $49. This guy, we lost $2. This guy made 50 bucks. Not bad, huh? 
Shooter number five. Lazy 10-4. Oh, we got a 10. Not a problem. We know our game plan. Mark the 10. We're going to lose this 10 here, this lay 10. I'm going to tell the dealer, bring me, bring my lay down, put it on the odds here. we we'll take a quarter, slap it on the four. Hopefully our four can work hard for us, our four worker. Sniper four guy. Ah, another PSO. Look how good this thing, this system works on a cold table too. Puck comes off. We're going to lose here. We get paid 50 for the flat and quarter there. Remember the quarter we put out from our rack that goes there. We basically reset, rinse and repeat. No harm, no foul. Shooter number six. Dice, we're surviving the table. Five, dice out. Ace, one, four. Five is the point. Take off the lays, slide the lazy 10 four up. Remember that 50, we're gonna rack it back here. I'm gonna play it from here. Dice out. Oh, that was almost a hard 10. One, five, six. Hard six again, right back. Nine, center field nine. Hard 10. What happens? We get paid 50 for one. Oops, take one right here. Put it right there. Rack up 50. Just made 50 bucks. Low risk, guys, low risk. And that's a five. Ah, oh, this is our other nemesis, the 11 and the point. Because we're going to lose this 50. This comes off. We still have this 50 here. We're going to put it down, lay the four. We're going to bring back that 50 we put on the rack, lay 10, and the 50 we lost. But we did win a 50, so it's kind of like we're even now. Still a hot shooter. He made his point. Dice out, hoping for a crap. Oh, that's a seven, six, one, seven. Sorry that rolled. We lose two bucks, remember that? Two dollars for the VIG. That's a small price to pay for, the, for uh, two, seven protection, two bucks. We got aces. Aces got to give us another 50. See how fast that happens. So 11 and, and craps is balancing. That's a hard six, hard six. Mark the six, take off the lays, slide the lazy 10 for up, rack the 50, good to go. That's a nine, let's go, 10 four, roger it out. Ah, oh, we got us, this is a cold table. 617, perfect for a cold table. Because seven out, we lose the hair. That pays that. Put the lay back on the four. The lazy 10 four is coming right back. Put that 50. And we just move on to the next shooter. Shooter number seven. We just gotta get a good run on the 10 and fours. Eight, eight easy. Mark the eight. Take out the lay buttons. Slide the 10 four up, the lazy 10 four. Rack up this 50 again, and we start playing again. See how simple? Two, six, eight. Ah, they made the point. We're gonna lose this. This is gonna come back here. We reset, take our 50 here, put that here, and don't pass there. All right, shooter made their point. Come out, this is off. Seven, you know what that means, we lose two bucks. Five, four, three. Not bad, not bad. We tip more t for our waitresses sometimes, right? Except Savannah. Midnight, nothing happens, it's a push. That's an eight, easy eight. Mark the eight. Take your four and 10, lay, slide them up here. Lazy 10, four slide, rack our 50. And we play from here. Let's go, tens and fours, five. This table has a lot of seven. Six, easy. That's a five, no field five. 10, we got a 10, six, four, 10, 
50 for one. We're back in business. All right. Let's go. Let's get more. Four, two, six. We need more fours and tens before the eight. Hard six. Two, five, seven out. Seven out. No problem. This lazy 10 four is protected. We got this here. We get that piece there. Bring it back to the lazy four. Bring out 50 for lazy 10. And we're going on shooter number eight. Let's go. Dice is out. That's a six. Easy. So simple, this, question, this, this strategy. That's why I call it the lazy 10. A lazy 10 for. This is a three. Three craps. That's a yo 11. Yo 11. 10. 6 for 10. Guess what? We win 50 for one. 50 for a dollar. Wrap that 50 up. Dice is out. That's a six, we lose the six. Back and forth battle, guys. Back and forth battle. Put back the 50 here. Oh, I'm so sorry. This was supposed to go up here, and this was here. That's why we would want the 10. But now this 50 is gonna come back. We're gonna reset it here. You guys see what happened? Nothing happened. Shooter made their point. We lost the don't pass. Dice is out, three. Look how fast we get it back. We get 50 so quickly. All right, let's get more of those threes. Oh, we got a nine, four, five, nine. Center field, nine, mark the nine. Take off the lead, slide the 10, four up. Take our 50, put it up here. And dice is out. 10 for we need nine. Oh, point is made. Point is made. We lose 50 here. We take this back, put back on the lazy four. Take our 50 here, put it back on the lazy 10. And we're good to go. Shooters made two points, I think, huh? Dice is out. That's a six, easy six. Take off the lays, slide the lazy 10 for up, rack the 50, and let's see if we can make money. That's a hard 10, hard 10, 50 for one. Just be patient, it's gonna come. Bam, more for than 10s. That's a nine, close one, close one. Oh, what happened to our don't pass? We didn't put that back. Oh, our don't pass is supposed to be there. Oh, there's a seven. Seven, we're supposed to have a don't pass there. Uh, seven, and so that means we're gonna lose these. Get paid there, what comes off. Back on the lazy four. Bring back the 50, put in our rack on the 10. And we're reset, and we're on shooter number nine, okay? Our, our triangle is set, dice out. Eight, eight easy, eight easy. Dice is out, nine. Center field, oh, you know what? This is supposed to go up here again. We don't get paid on that lay. Oh man, look at that. So um, that is gonna pay this here, a seven out. And we reset this, bring back the 50, and come back up here. All right. Dice is out, hard 10. All right, we lose the 10 here. Put this back up here. This comes back up here, we're gonna take a quarter, put it on the four, let it work for us. Dice is out, eight, easy eight, easy eight, seven out, all right. 
No problem. I'm gonna get paid 50 for the flat, quarter for the odds. This comes back. And let's count our rack. So I made kind of a few small minor, I like forgetting the don't passes, but that was 10 shooters. Lazy 10 4. Let's see how much money we got. Bought in for 500. One, two. Pretty choppy table, you would, wouldn't you say? We bought in for four, five. We made 150. So 60. $166. How's that? On that choppy table, $166 on a $500 buy-in. And that wasn't even like a great shooting, right? It's a choppy table, build your bankroll, perfect for bubble craps. If I made $160 on bubble craps, and I just keep on pushing the button and hoping for 10s and 4s, and um, if the seven comes, I'm okay. It's a good system, man. I'm gonna use this on the random rollers. Uh, I'm gonna use this on my virtual uh, um, um, five days before my trip to Vegas. Uh, this is gonna be my random roller strategy plus my bubble crap strategy when I go to Vegas. I hope you like it. Simple again, just a 10-4 and a don't pass. If you hit the fours and tens, you're just gonna place the odds and work the opposite number. That's it, no ladders, no martingales. Basically playing it lazy. Lay the 10-4, that's why you call it the lazy. And you just be lazy and you just collect, so. Thank you guys, uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you guys and aloha and may the dice be nice.